Hey, I'm going to talk about Serve. Uh, logo made in WaveDrum, by the way. Uh, so Serve is a pretty standard embedded class uh, CPU. It's a RISC-V CPU, has some optional extensions, data bus, uh, instruction buses, support extension interface, has a simple reference platform called Servant, which runs for Zephyr OS and is available for lots of FPGA boards. Uh, yeah, pretty standard stuff. But it's also, oh, it runs Doom also, uh, at about 4 SPF. <laughs> uh, and the thing that makes it special is that it's the world's smallest RISC-V CPU. And a lot of that's because it's BitSerial. I won't explain what BitSerial is. Just check out the award-winning uh, movie instead. Um, you got that domain one? Yeah, I got that domain. Uh, so this is how large it is for different th typical FPGAs and in, in uh, CMOS gates. This is without the register file. I will not go into detail uh, at this talk, why that is. Uh, so apparently Wikipedia forgot to add it, so I had to add it myself here. <laughs> uh, it's about the same size as Intel 404 or a little smaller than an Intel 808. Uh, another way to say how small it is is to see how many we can pack into different FPGAs. And lastly, we packed 10,000 of these cores into a larger Sinex FPGA. Uh, you can go to corescore.store uh, and check out the core score, add the core scores. Uh, we can do core scores tomorrow, for example. Uh, also, I don't want it only to be the world's smallest CPU, but also the world's most well documented. So each module has documentation and a block diagram which is accurate down to the gate level. Um, it's used in different cases, and one cool thing is uh, Fraunhofer uh, taped it out in a 180 process uh, for a cranial implant. Uh, it's also using, yeah, different like DDR initialization, stuff where you only have a little bit of silicon area to spare. Tiny tape out. Tiny tape out, yeah. <laughs> So uh, one cool thing is there's a guy uh, called Aldo. Uh, he's um, adding an AI uh, accelerator, so we will be the world's smallest AI vector accelerator. Uh, that one will probably be much larger than this one. Uh, another cool thing is a guy called Chuatank, who is at Harvard. He's shaping it out on pragmatic flexible process, which means I think this is the world's first uh, printable uh, RISC-V CPU. Uh, flexible CPU? Yeah, a flexible <laughs> RISC-V CPU. They made an ARM version a while ago. Uh, future work, uh, I want to do a 2-bit version, D-serve for double serve, <laughs> a 4-bit version, curve for quad curve. And actually a colleague of mine helped out with this uh, just recently, and it turns out it's only 20 to 50 percent larger than the 1-bit serve, and four times faster. Lots of stuff I want to do, um, and that's it. Thank you. <laughs>